this? Oh my God, that's my brother. Okay. I thought Jake's behavior was bad when I came in, but when Lisa's brother Peter came through the door, he went ballistic. Oh. Oh. Jakey! Hi, Jakey. Won't he bite you? Well, sometimes when I get close. Do you come here a lot? Do you come here often? Yeah, sometimes. You do? I usually terrorize the dog. What do you do? I, in the front minute, I open up the mail slot and I'll yell at the dog or tease it a little bit. Yesterday, he what? came in and he did his, oh, Jakey, Jakey. <laughs> and the dog peed. He peed. Every time you come over, he pees. <laughs> pooped on himself. You laugh and you have fun because it's fun because it's a little dog. Yeah. Would you come in if this was a Rottweiler? No. You wouldn't because it would have your throat. I was appalled when Peter admitted to terrorizing Jake. I was about to get him and throw him out the front door. I work hard at what I do and I can make huge progress. But the thing that really makes my job a lot harder are people like you coming in and teasing the dog. This is a dog that has bitten children, has bitten all the family, and has bitten you. Yes. Has it bitten yes. you how many times? Oh, three or four times. Jolly good. Because I would have bitten you too. You tease me, you put your fingers through the letterbox. I don't think the family realized how hard I was going to be on Peter. And Peter certainly didn't, otherwise he would have never come round. Each time you tease this dog, you rile it up, you're just showing that every single time somebody comes in here, the person is just going to cause me fear, make me more anxious, cause me stress. So it's a negative association with everybody who comes through that door. I was shocked that a dog wants to be so scared to death that that happens that I feel really guilty. Do you realize how you're exacerbating this dog's behavior? Yes, but the dog's been a little kooky from the start. Kooky? So you're going to make it more kooky? Oh, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to me, apologize to them, because they're living it with it every day. Coming in here and teasing this dog's like a, it's just bullying. Funny. Sometimes yeah. he'll chase He'll chase him. me Jiggy! or he'll come after me. And... You know, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> when Michael and Lisa talk about the issues, they keep laughing. I don't get how you can laugh about the fact that your dog's stressed out. Can they not see that this is making Jake's behavior worse? I'm going to do some work with you. I'm going to ask you if you can come over again sure. one of these days. So I can't do this anymore? No. The teasing finishes. When I first walked through the door, Jake went nuts. How are you? I hear insanity. Peter came through the door, he did the same thing. Uh, Jakey. In order to address the behavior, I need to take baby steps. Since Lisa has the best relationship with Jake, I want to start working with her first before I go on to the rest of the family. When I'm working with aggressive dogs, it's really important that they trust me. I wanted Jake not to freak out each time I left and came back into the house. So immediately I set to work by teaching them that if he was quiet, he would get a reward. So I'm just going to put the food up to my eyes so that he gets used to looking at me. Good boy. I'm going to leave by the front door I want you to watch what I do. Nice. The refocusing technique is great because instead of the dog focusing on all of the emotion it feels, it's focusing on actually trying to find a piece of food, which gets its thinking brain into gear. If I was just walking out now, he'd be barking yes. at me. Good boy. This is how you change your dog's brain, right? Without using shock collars. I'm using praise too. Good boy. I've never seen you since I've come in here praise this dog once. I'm gonna mark every single behavior that I see in this dog that I like. If I go and open the door, I think he could bark, yeah. So I'm not gonna do it. You don't go out, you just wait. You wait for that calm behavior. The only way he's gonna get this really nice tasty stuff is he needs to come back to the set and be quiet. I like the turn away. I wait for his, him to turn away from the door and from me. Good. The more I tell him, no, shut up, stop, the more he's gonna bark at me. I want him to be quiet, it's okay. Quiet, good. There you go, nice. Quiet, go find it. Good boy. 
wants her to come back. Okay, I'm just gonna come in. Good. Nice. Nice. And that's how you get coming in, too. You could see he'd walk over like, should I bark? And then he would turn away like, no, I'm not going to bark. And I was shocked that he, that he was learning. I wanted to take the training a little bit further and to work with the person that Jake hates most, which is Peter. <laughs> Jakey. I usually terrorize the dog. Every time you come over, he pees. All right, so Peter's outside. I'm going to get him to knock, and then uh, we'll see what it's like. If Jake can cope with Peter and Lisa can get the training right, that means significant progress will have been made. Jakey. Jake. Jake. Lisa. Lisa, remember? He's put his fingers through the slot. Why is Peter putting fingers through the slot? He does. So the dog's not going to... He's antagonizing the dog. What language was I speaking to Peter when I asked him not to tease Jake anymore? Whatever it was, he didn't understand it. He's doing it again. Lisa, relax. Can you tell your brother to stop putting his fingers through the letterbox? Peter! Stop yes. putting your fingers through the box. Oh, OK, I'm sorry. Why he was putting his fingers through the mailbox and wriggling them at Jake and hearing Jake's frustration barking and then he continued to do it is beyond me. Hi. You want, to let, you want to let the person coming in to know not to proceed up to the steps so quickly. Yeah. Okay. Pause, let Jake get calm, give him a treat, and then you let the so person proceed. Did he start at the bottom? Yeah, he stands okay. at the bottom and waits bottom. for Correct. Jake to stop barking. Go to the bottom. I totally froze, screwed up. The dog was getting too upset. He wasn't paying attention to the food because he's too terrified of Peter. I just totally forgot everything she said. I was just like, what do I do? Jakey, hello. No, no, don't ignore him. No, no. Ignore him. Don't, don't talk to him at all. When Peter came in and Lisa was selected to walk, Peter came in and walk him through it, that had failure written all over it from the get-go. He really doesn't like it. He's terrified. Mm -hmm. Every little movement, he's terrified. Absolutely terrified of you, Peter. I put a lot of time, effort, commitment to training, and I work really hard to make things work. But it tries my patience when people just don't get it. We, we have all of this crew in the house, OK? All of these big men walking around. And for days, he hasn't reacted to them. He's totally Good comfortable boy. with them. Good boy. And okay. the fact that he has this history of you teasing okay. him, and you scared him to the point where he actually had to urinate and defecate. Okay, cool, I think cool. you might have just sealed the deal with him. Okay, um, cool, I, I really do. That he's yeah. just too, he's just too frightened of you. I don't think we'll put him through it anymore. Thank you. It's okay. okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. Peter has terrorized Jake enough that I don't think that relationship is salvageable. So when I saw Jake getting so upset. I just thought the best thing was for Peter to leave. I didn't know he was that afraid of Peter. He just you said, didn't? Not, not that bad. The dog urinated and get on your sofa. That's when you were laughing. I know. That's when you were laughing. This dog does not deserve to be treated in this way. And you know, it just makes me so angry. Lisa will try very hard to do what's right. But because of pressure and trying too much to not fail, she sets herself up for failure. And then once that happens, it's like a stone tumbling downhill. I know I have a lot to learn. I'm practicing. But I think that ultimately, Jake will benefit. <laughs>